Hi there, this is uh, KK6 Fox Shot in from Tango with another project I thought I'd share with all of you. Today's project involves using an Arduino Uno and putting that together with your own GPS uh, receiver module. Uh, it's actually uh, remarkably easy as there's a number of plug and play GPS modules which all you have to do is plug in and connect to a serial port and you'll start receiving GPS positioning signals and you can use them in your own applications. So uh, what we have here, uh, over on the left, this is an Arduino Uno. Um, and uh, for those who are not familiar with the Arduino, of course, they're an embedded uh, microcomputer where you can run your own software code. Uh, they run uh, C or a variant of C. And uh, they're remarkably cheap. I think I paid maybe 3 or $4 for this one on the left. And um, you can do quite a bit. They've got a lot of processor and you can run a, a quite a bit of code. And there's uh, other versions, of course, with uh, more powerful processors and a lot more memory and a lot more capability. Uh, the nice thing about the Arduinos, of course, is you've got a lot of input and output pins. And here you can see uh, the pins along the top and the bottom. Uh, some of them are digital, some of them are analog, and they um, you can pretty much connect anything you want to them. So attached to that over here, is a off-the-shelf shelf, uh, GPS module. Get that in focus there. And uh, that is uh, made by U-Blox. And these things, uh, this is a U-Blox uh, Neo 6M, uh, only costs about $15, maybe less, a little bit more. And all you have to do is connect four wires, ground, VCC, uh, receive and transmit, and the module starts to send GPS positioning information out the serial port. Uh, you'll see the little blue light. The little blue light means that it's getting positioned. Uh, this is the uh, antenna right here, um, and uh, it's all in integrated. Uh, the other nice thing about this is uh, it, it does pull down atomic clock information from those GPS satellites, so you get very, very accurate time signals. Uh, these, uh, anyway, so uh, what you see here is running uh, the Arduino, which is uh, hiding off the screen here. This Arduino is actually running some code I wrote, which receives some of those serial ports. It actually uses a software serial port here. Uh, connected to, I think I've got it on uh, pins, uh, uh, let's see, I've got pins uh, pins uh, 3 and 4, and that is not the built-in uh, UART on the Arduino, that's actually a software emulation. And the reason why is because I have the normal serial port, that's over here, connected to a computer. Now, um, computer's not doing any processing, I'm just using that as a terminal, and you can see if I turn my, my uh, thing here, let's, you can see there, it's spitting out uh, GPS, GPS information. Um, now, uh, and, and it's working pretty good. So it tells you the uh, uh, latitude, longitude, north and west, east, north, south, east, west, and the altitude. And uh, I actually have some other text there, which is uh, the appropriate information to send in an APRS frame. So if you want to put this and connect it to a transceiver, um, you can actually send out APRS information. Um, I haven't figured out if I'm going to do that. Uh, if you looked at my other videos, I actually have a Arduino uh, APRS uh, TNC. So again, a TNC built out of a very inexpensive uh, Arduino Uno. And um, uh, I'm not sure if I'll integrate the uh, receiving of the the uh, uh, GPS information onto this this card. Uh, I, I guess the uh, uh, the amount of processing it's doing is probably pushing the Uno a little bit. Or maybe what I'll just do is send serial information to this guy from the other Arduino. So we'll see. Uh, the other thing you can do is I also thought just putting an LCD on this and um, have my very own homebrew uh, GPS receiver. Um, of course, everyone has a GPS receiver in their smartphone nowadays, but thought it'd be kind of cool to put my own and together. So anyway, um, that's the latest project, and uh, this is KK6 Fox Charting from Tango, and hope you enjoyed seeing what you can do with uh, an Arduino and, uh, and the U-Blocks. It's uh, kind of fun, actually.